Hey, what's up guys? It's a uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new Artist Journey video. So today, we're gonna be talking about rage, frustration, okay? A, it is an emotion that, you know, right now is a uh, very prevalent, okay? You know, we live in those times, okay? Um, you know, and recently there have been things that, especially for artists to be angry about, Okay, there's a lot of things to be angry about, um, but I wanted to deal. I wanted to talk about how art can help you deal with those emotions. Okay, to deal with those frustrations, and also how art can be the source of frustration. Okay, and how you can take that energy. Okay, because that's what it is. It is energy. Okay, and channel it into your work and turn it into something useful, something productive, okay? Um, because otherwise it could be channeled into worse things. You get what I'm saying, right? Um, but before this starts the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my Prince and Patreon. If you wanna support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. And with that, let's get into it. So on the artist's journey, there will be a lot of anger, frustration, you know, being upset, right? Uh, and this is a result of the path, right? Um, artists are commonly misunderstood, right? It is just the way of things, okay? And that lack of understanding can often lead to um, friction, you know, between you and, you know, whoever, right? And um, in general, creatives are very, very much not understood, okay? Because um, our priorities aren't necessarily the same priorities as most people, right? And as a result, there is usually a lot of, you know, tension, okay? I'm not saying like right now <clears throat> um, that in the moment that I'm having tension or anything like that, right? I'm not saying like, oh, you know, there's something big happening or, or whatever, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just a part of, of life, right? It's a part of especially artists' lives, right? Um, I make no illusions about that, okay, right? Um, hardly is peaceful the life of an artist, okay? Often, um, artists are um kind of ostracized you know what i mean right depending on who it is depending on um maybe your family depending on um you know you, uh, the people surrounding you and their acceptance of what you do okay um but you know society in general may not really enjoy um artists or what we do or even just respect like the the craft okay um, depending on what age you're talking about, okay? Before, I think it was better to assume that artists had an easier time, okay? Um, because, you know, before there wasn't, there wasn't so many things to supplement artists, right? Art, the art, the art field was held in a higher respect, okay? But after the po post-modern movement, um, and, you know, especially because of the, the story of Van Gogh, um, artists are seen to be like people who will never make it, okay, who are, you know, destined to be poor and or, or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of reasons to ostracize creatives, okay? And again, like I said, those things, the result of those things is a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of uh, aggression, you know? Um, I know for me, especially, <clears throat> Like, I've had to deal with a lot of frustrations on the journey. I've had to deal with a lot of anger, okay? And in a way, um, art was and is the cause of a lot of my anger, okay? And, you know, my dedication to it, the, the, the dedication to the path, you know, to finishing, to um, continuing the journey as far as I can, you know, to hopefully finish the journey, right, which we all know is impossible, 
okay? There is the ever-ending, it is the never-ending never journey, rather. And, you know, it's, um, it's tough. It's tough because, you know, the solution is the problem, right? It's the catch-22. It is the love that generates the hate, okay? Right? Maybe not for all of you, you know, maybe you guys have, um, a supportive environment, you know, maybe you guys like, you know, the, the, the creations that you make are very, very well supported. Okay. Um, but I know for a lot of you guys, that's not true. Okay. Right. Um, you know, speaking from experience, you know, like, especially like Asian families, right. Um, I know they don't take too kindly to the arts, okay, or the art field, right, um, or a creative field, you know, like music, acting, um, writing, you know what I mean? Something that isn't, you know, being a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, you know, you, you know, people, people who, like, you know, Asians, we know, okay, we get it, right? So that can create a lot of friction within your family unit. Um, and there's just like, you know, like I said, there's a lot of sources that can create frustration, okay, right? And now we have external factors, right? Like things that are happening to art, um, you know, technology, um, trying to, you know, AI and all that bullshit, right? It's all just, it all adds up to creating a lot of frustration, emotion, anger, sometimes sadness, but like, you know, rage, okay? rage and I know a thing or two about rage okay um, I'm a, like I consider myself a very angry person sometimes not 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 all the time but like I I have that anger within me okay like I don't I'm not outwardly like that right but within me is that frustration that anger right and I try to not put it out into the world okay and i try not to deny it either i used to deny it before and that caused a lot of problems right but again if you just take it right that's not healthy okay if you release it out into the world that's not healthy either right so how can you take it and output it in a healthy manner okay and you know we all know this we all know the answer to that right and that is in our creations okay in our work right um art is a fantastic medium in which to relieve stress and release um your emotions upon okay right and i'm not saying like you gotta be like one of those artists who's like I, I'm gonna slap paint on oh, angrily. Oh, this painting's about aggression. But, 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 but like, no, right? I've painted extremely beautiful, serene paintings while being in the midst of blinding anger. Okay, right? And it's because I view it all as just energy. Okay, it's just it's all just fuel. Okay. Right? It's all just like the anger, the sadness, the, the happiness, you know, right? All the pent up feelings, right? All the, you know, all the stuff grinding in your mind, right? That's all just great fuel, okay? That's just stuff that's just it like, hey, like, you know what? Like I often come into my studio, right? Like full of frustration, full of, like maybe spite maybe anger maybe like uh, you know like or maybe i'm sad or maybe i'm like i'm feeling hollow or something you know what i mean there's there's always like something and then i go into the studio and i unleash it upon the canvas okay and for you know that that session you know maybe i'll be thinking maybe i'll be thinking about something that really frustrates me or something i'm not saying this is good like this is something that is an indir in indirect Okay, right? Like, I'm not, like, coming into the studio with that intention, right? It's just something that's, like, like you know, I'm already, like, kind of, like, frustrated about it. But I know that to, to, to calm me down, to make me feel better, 
right? And to, to use up that energy, right? I release it on to my work, okay? Right? And that's good. You know, I often will, some like, you know, depending on my mood, I'll listen to music, right? That, you know, can either enhance the mood or try to counter that mood, right? Um, but either way, the, the, the music plus the art plus the emotion, right, the feelings come to come together when it comes to and, and, and can be the solution to the problem, okay, and, and resolve the, the issue or, or, or get, at least at the very least give some comfort, you know, give some kind of like relief to it, like a release of energy and it's like, okay, and then after I'm done with the session, I'm, I feel a release. I feel like, okay, well, you let it all out, you know, right? You like, you know, it's almost like akin to like, uh, like a boxer, you know, like frustrations of the day, you know, going to the, going to the canvas, releasing it out, out on your, on the bag or something. Right. But you know, the artists don't have that. We have our work. Okay. Um, and you know what? You should never release your anger on your work. Okay. Like, as in, you should never like harm your peace, okay, right? You know, you don't wanna throw some, you know, you don't wanna be like the, the those people throwing tomato soup, you know what I mean, right? I know the painting wasn't hurt, okay? You don't have to, you know, thank God, right? But I would say that you should never try to harm your work, okay? Because then your aggression has nowhere to go, okay? And you like people i've seen people make it a habit of um throwing away pieces or or like like you know and that that just leads to that just leads to the destruction of art and i think it's very harmful and um you just don't want to i think everyone just ends up regretting it in the long run right um don't put don't like when you have your frustration put it into doing the work okay put it into like and, and like people think that it is often a distraction from the work and I disagree okay um, it gives your mind something to chew on okay it gives, you, it gives your mind something to to do while you process whatever frustrations that you have right anger can be very good for your work okay um, it could it could push you forward right maybe when you when you have an obstacle in your work that you're like ah, you could be able to, you, like through the persistence the stubbornness um you can push past a problem right maybe like some like at the end of the day sometimes when it, when it, when it comes to the work that there's all you can really do is just like go at it you know right sometimes the only solution is to just work through it you know just push through all the you know all the bs and just get and f and like find a way through right i'm not gonna pretend that like everything has like an elegant beautiful solution so simple and it's like you know and uh, you know maybe it will but maybe you don't know that solution okay sometimes you just gotta you know go at it see what happens see what try to figure it out right but in doing that you take all that frustration you take all that energy okay and now you're like <clears throat> and you, you use it to solve a problem okay and by solving the problem right it it kind of like puts it in your mind that you're like you're almost like working on on the issue itself and it could be completely separate right but like it allows you to kind of have like a, a way to cope and de-escalate your anger right and it's very very useful okay i Again, I do it every day, okay? Um, and it's it's a useful tool, right? It's a, like, just think about people like Bob Ross, okay? A, a drill sergeant who looked to painting to relieve him of his, his demons, right? And his anger, right? And that's just, that's the magic of art, okay? It doesn't matter what medium, it doesn't have to be oil. It could you could be a musician you know you could be anything but like i think the common bond between creatives is that um 
a lot of us deal with the emotions in our life by creating, okay? By uh, giving us a, a, a task, a goal, okay? A problem to solve, okay? Um, and through creative work, we, we have an outlet in which to express that emotion, okay, right? Um, sorry, there's a little thing flying towards me. And often people think that you have to make a piece that's about that, right? And like, I don't think that's true, okay? I don't think that's true. Like I said, you can make beautiful pieces just and, and just be full of full of wrath you know full of like like maybe like like the worst pain you've ever felt okay and you just like you know i've met artists who have just been in like the worst state ever right and the only way they could like move forward okay and like just just continue with their day and like some some people have dealt with like really really bad trauma okay is to just get in there and draw okay get in there and paint do the thing create okay because at the very least you know even if you're feeling horrible like you know you'll you'll have felt like you've made some progress okay and often like you know there's outside factors that you can't control right and and you just feel this just you know this this pressure this fucking this oh you, you know like something holding your chest right and you know art is the is a great way to release it you know an art is a way to like sometimes distract yourself okay and you know but i also wanted to talk about like what happens when art becomes the problem what happens become when art becomes the frustration okay that is often a big problem for artists right where they stand in front of the canvas and they they are frustrated you know maybe by a problem in the piece you know maybe um a combination of outside factors and internal factors right and now the the the, the factors of the work right and what do we do then right what do we do then this is when you have to think about emotional control, okay? And it's different than, like, repression, okay? Because repression is I'm stuffing it down, I'm ignoring it, I'm not letting it have its time, okay? And that's wrong, okay? It's a very thin line that we're talking about right here. Okay. And then there is acknowledgement. Okay. Right. But not putting it out. Okay. Right. This is like very like stoic philosophy and like being able to, um, you know, it's just like emotional control, like I said, um, and being able to acknowledge your feelings, process them. Okay and to prevent you from acting in accordance with it okay you know i mean this is standard stuff right this is this is well known you know what i mean it's not a, it's not a new concept right but i want you guys to understand that repression you know is not the best way okay because those feelings will just come and boil up again right um and like sometimes worse and it's it's just you know it's a weird line we walk, right? That again, that's it's just that's just life, right? But I want to emphasize that the work is the solution, okay? The work, you know, especially for artists, right? It's not just a coping mechanism, it is a solution to just life, right? And to dealing with it, right? And to to allow a place where your feelings can like exist, right? And and to be like, and to just let it out, right? And to just 
like be like you know yeah i am these things i am frustrated i am angry you know and and, and like in a way it, it, it has it gives you a space to to open yourself up like just just to yourself right and to not ignore those those emotions that you like that you know are like that are hideable you know what i mean um and you know of course we want to be authentic to ourselves right and the art allows for that okay and it allows like it allows a space for 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 these things to occur within the mind right but it also gives an activity to allow the mind to repair itself in a way you know what i mean not repair itself but like to to sort things out right and to like you know like almost like in a way like vent right but like it's not like it's not like venting to a friend you know what i mean it's more like venting to yourself okay venting to the world okay and to your work and and as and like to be able to use that and produce something beautiful and worthwhile right and so like and so you don't feel so guilty about you know having these feelings having these emotions right and you know a lot of people say like they they, they use those emotions as as a as a way to be like well i can't draw right now I'm too frustrated well i can't create right now i'm too i'm too scared or i'm too worried about this thing i'm too stressed about these things right um and for that i i, I would just say like like that's not the solution right avoiding the work is not the solution right diving in pushing forward into the work okay that's the solution okay the solution for the artist is always in the canvas and if you don't have the solution you need to push further in deeper into the canvas into the fabric of the canvas okay and i'm talking about in a more philosophical sense obviously you don't want to just you know push into the canvas or oh, maybe just, you, know, you know no you know you get what i'm saying right um you want to by the end of the session figure out something okay or at least find some kind of peace afterwards okay and often you know it, it that, for me that's often true i often find myself um like pretty tired and exhausted you know mentally um you know sometimes physically right after the after the um after a session of of working and that's just like and it feels good you know it feels like ugh, you know like all right now i've purified myself okay and what you what you basically want is when you enter your workspace when you enter your studio that you come in and you're like okay i come in with with all of my um feelings frustration everything you know what i mean and i'm going to purge it from me right not fully but for the day okay for the day i'm going to release the energy within me okay frustrated you know frustrated angry fearful you know stress every all those feelings you know you just you take them <clears throat> you bring them into the, into your work and say like these are my fuels okay these are the things that are going to push me and this work okay and you use it all up okay right you just use you, you try to use all of that stuff up right and I'm, and and, and by the end it's it's all gone right and you are now feeling like okay i have i feel peace now you know i feel some kind of some form of harmony right and you know the best way is to hopefully like i i encourage you guys to when you finish the session leave on a good note leave like when you when you're like okay i've done a good amount of work okay you want to leave on something where you're like okay like first you know what you want to do when you come back and um second that you leave on a note where you feel like you're like okay i made it 
good amount of progress today or or you you know what i mean like you feel you leave on a good note so that you're like okay i feel good now right and then you leave satisfied and with all of your you know all of those things just kind of like falling away right just just you know like you like like now you could breathe again you know now you get like ooh, like a like like you could have a, a breath of fresh air and you feel good again right it's like it's a meditative thing right um and you know understand that you like you know you're gonna have to do it basically um you know every day not every day but because I, I don't even paint every day i paint five days a week right i take off the weekends right but you know what i mean like you want to be doing it consistently regularly right so it's almost like a a routine right where you 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 know like like you know maybe some days you know you're not you're feeling fine right you just come in right and there's no there's no need to uh purge or anything right but you know those there's going to be those really bad days right and you just <clears throat> you want to come in knowing that the space around you <clears throat> will purify you okay will um allow you to release the pressure of whatever's you know you know chew like chewing at you right biting at you right and at the end of the day you will feel peace okay right that is the great thing about artwork it just it it can create a, a peace out of like the craziest things right and I'm, I'm not saying like it's it's an end-all solution right of course not life is a messy thing you know what i mean um things get messed up you know but i want you guys to understand that art is a great way to it, it's a it's a great solution it's a great antidote to the chaos of the world okay and to your your emotions to your inner struggle right and when you finish your work when you've completed the piece right you'll you'll have forgotten all about your problems right you've all like for a moment you're you've escaped right and you'll you'll be like you'll you'll look at your work and say like you know like hey that's great you know you won't even think about your anger and all that stuff but you'll but what you don't realize is that all of those emotions all of those things right they were fuel like i said they were fuel to create that thing you know what i mean it's not a part of the thing right there's a separation right between like you know like 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 your the the work that you make and the the feelings that fueled the work to to create it right but then as a result it doesn't have the the it doesn't have the like uh, frustration in the work you know what i mean the frustration is within you but the but, but by creating the work it allows you to release all that like ah oh, okay and now you're like now i feel better right and then you have a final product and then you realize that you've made something of those those feelings those emotions all the all that stuff clawing at you right you you've taken it and now you've put it and turn it into something positive right something that the world can enjoy something that maybe even just you enjoy right and something beautiful so you've taken something ugly like all your anger all your rage all your frustration you know everything all those 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 feelings you and like normally those things could can be output in a horrible wrathful way that that harms many others right and now you've taken it and you've you've crushed it okay you've taken it created a diamond and that is the artist's journey okay and that's why we continue right because sometimes life is just too frustrating right i think we'd end the video here guys please if you enjoyed the video hit that like hit that subscribe check out my prince of patreon if you want to support the channel consider becoming a channel member ring that bell for notifications all that bullshit and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks a lot